When many youths are crying of unemployment, we meet a 25-year-old man making it big in the furniture business. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Alan from Naxfab TV, Nakuru's number one online television. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified anytime we upload new content. So guys, leo tuko maeneo ya Mailikumi, Bahati, Nakuru County. Tuko na mzee wa nguvu hapa, ni kijana anaitwa Samuel Kingori, ambaye anaunda furniture za ajabu ajabu. Ni aje yanko? Poa sana. Kofiti? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, tuambie Samuel ametokea wapi? Amezaliwa wapi? Uh -huh. Yes, hiyo saweze kukujua. Mimi kama Samuel nimezaliwa Kikipia County upande wa Nyahururu na nikalewa huko huko nikasomea huko huko lakini sasa kibiashara niko hapa na Kuru County mm -hmm. yeah. um, tell us about the furniture ambayo unaunda about ambayo, ambayo ni rusted furniture ulianza aje okay uh, hii rustic furniture it's about passion but kitambo sikuwa na hiyo passion i was doing other things I've been a chef. I've done I've been a secretary wa wakili fulani. Uh, but still nilikuwa nafanya fanya kidogo but not fully. Then um, due to the economy and whatever nikaamua sita ajiriwa tena. Then I started the rustic furniture back in 2019. Hapo ndio nilianza fully ile uh, full time eh? full time job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so Samuel, tueleze educational background yako. So well um Alia nilikuwa nimesema I'm from Laikipia County. Huko ndio nilisomea my uh, primary school education, high school education. Then I came to Nakuru, uh, Harvest, Rift Valley Institute of Science and Technology. I was studying a diploma in agriculture, but unfortunately I dropped out in my, at the end of my second year. Sikuweza kumanage kumaliza, so bad was the graduate. Uh, I've been thinking about it, but netajua tu kama nitaenda kumaliza. So I dropped out uh, because uh, uh, school fees kali, kali leta shida kidogo. But now, nikaingia kwa biashara now fully. And as you can see now, this is what I'm doing. Uh, and I still, bado nikiwa shule, nilikuwa naifanya, nikiwa college. So yeah, because this business was paying my school fees back in college. Ah, you couldn't have the school fees. Yeah, uh -huh. all my needs. Let okay. me say, yeah, uh -huh. my food, my rent, my school fees, my everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, who uh, clients work for you? So back in school, I mm -hmm. uh, was my lecturers. Napia, uh, I was doing. Sasa nikiwa shule, I was doing this job. Now they are lecturers, but you see, that money was not enough okay. to pay my school fees. Mm -hmm. So I had to go all the way to Nakuru town, Nairobi town, Kwana Fanya Hawking back then. So I could carry some products. I went to several towns, Hawking, and Kwana Pata customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you came uh, here. Yeah, afterwards, mm -hmm. after Niliacha Shule. Mm -hmm. That's when I came to my Likumi. And I was up officially. Now, as you have to come someone drop out of school and get the Ashara. Well, actually, at a school in Mini Mambia, I did not say. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad, too, happened to one day was coming to Nakuru town. Mm -hmm. So, Nikama Liniona or something, mm -hmm. because I'm just close to the road, to the highway. So Akirudi, mm -hmm. he stopped by, mm -hmm. me nikamuona, mm -hmm. then kutoka hapo, mm -hmm. nikasa, that's when I told him, mm -hmm. and I told my mom, my sisters, mm -hmm. so hapo ndiyo walijua, mm -hmm. 
but I work on any issue because, as you can say, it's, I'm making money. So they have no problem with that. Yeah. yeah. So, as I said, my education, it's good, but uh, if you have a, uh, a skill, a talent, it's much better. But still, okay, combine education, it, it acquire much more better. Yeah. Tuleze, um, how has it been as in um, from Kujijenga and now say you kona, kona employees kada? Yeah, so the business imekuwa ikiflow vizuri and um, watu wamekuwa waki embrace but not everyone, kuna wale wanatambua art, kuna wale hawaelewi art and you know art is expensive. So uh, Kenya sana sana Wana, wanaeza kuanda red, but tuna keep up to. So the business, um, over time I've been able to employ several people. Uh, kama sai, I have like three, boys, three gentlemen, uh, tumekua tuki work now, but kuna wale wenye sio wa daily, kuna ile peace work. Like kama saile tunaenda forest, kungoa hizo stamps, kubeba, tunaongeza uh, other workers. But for now, we are have three. Mm -hmm. yeah, na biashara imekuwa ikilipa, mm -hmm. uh, inaekelea chakula kwa meza zetu. Mm -hmm. Na pia vijana mm -hmm. wana wana an. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, to Rudy Makibobo, yeah. um, we know that this rustic furniture yeah. is not something that is very common to the common people. Yeah. He ni, it's, a, it's a new idea that you're bringing to the market. Yeah. Tell us the process of the Uziunda. Uziunda? Process? Uh, the process mm -hmm. hayanzi hapa kwa workshop. Mm -hmm. Inaanza very far. Mm -hmm kule kwa ku source the raw materials hapo ndio process inaanza mm -hmm. after you source kuna ile you approve the tree stumps they need cleaning mm -hmm. uh, because they kona mchanga sana they are cleaned toka hapo uh, kuna involvement ya machines like power source and other machines electric uh, toka hapo nao zinaletwa kwa workshop zikikuja kwa workshop sasa kazi ya kuna some joinery it requires joinery skills uh, because wazi pata hiyo stamp ikiwa as it is bila unaiona so after you do the joinery uh hapo sasa ndio fundi sasa mimi ndio naingia so we do uh, every type of furniture be it tables stools beds dining tables uh, dressing mirrors kitchen cabinets, office furniture, outdoor furniture, zote tu tunafanya. Eh, bora ikuwe tu ni any type of furniture. Pia tunafanya art, wall art, ya wood, ya hizo zote. Eh, after hapo, sasa the boys hapo ndiyo wanaingia kufanya the finishing part. Eh. Ili hii tristam ama hii product ikuwe presentable. Uh, so lazima tufanya the cleaning, the sanding, and the polishing. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, so ikiwa, ikiwa the raw product, uwezi uh, ipenda. Mm -hmm. But it, after doing the job, the, f the finished product mm -hmm. inakuwa very much attractive to the customers. Mm -hmm. So bro, with these uh, forest uh, regulations, how hard is it or how easy is it to source raw materials? Well, uh, when it comes to rustic furniture, Sana sana we don't deal with timber, so uh, we don't cut down trees. We deal with the tree stumps and the salvaged down from trees. So it's easy for the sourcing of materials without um, uh, uh, without crossing the restrictions. So si tunangua two is or roots na hizo hakuna any restriction of because ni kutoa kama kutoa hiyo kuondolea wakulima uchafu kwa shamba so uh, what we do is just uh, nongea na chiefs wa area 
because obviously akisikia mashine atataka kujua ni nini inaendelea and then when it comes to transporting kuna ile the right channel ya ku go about transporting unalipa the sales fee and that's all uh, so it's easy to source the raw materials because hakuna restriction ya trustums na zile miti zimejiangusha yeah Mm-hmm. The restriction is about cutting down trees. Cutting down trees. Uh, and I don't know if I to mention, but our viewers, this guy is very young. How old are you? Well, uh, about age, neza kuwa ni personal. But um, uh, I'm, as young, I'm as young as you can see. Uh-huh. Uh, this guy is in his 20s, man. Now, no, no, my yake ni it's a little bit um imekoma. So, bro, uh, now, uh, now that we need to understand the process of how to to source the raw materials, alafu zimekuja hapa hivi kwa nini kwa workshop na mezifanya kazi. How's the competition between you now when you're now under the normal furniture? Competition mm-hmm. is about the mindset of uh, our customers because for quite a long time customers kwa market wamekuwa na the same product mm-hmm. ile ya uh, the common furniture mm-hmm. so kabla wa embrace this new type of furniture the rustic type uh, it's a challenge to convince the customers about how durable this product is mm-hmm. and also uh and it's durable yeah it's very durable so to convince customer to change so to change the mindset of our customers and clients that's the tricky part but with time eh, wanakuja waki accept this new product um so bro um furniture zako zina range um how like how much is it okay so uh range same eh? generally uh, range in Azakua from a thousand shillings to up to a hundred thousand mm-hmm. depending with the item mm-hmm. and depending with the uh, uh, quality of the item. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Now, Biashara in Andale at the moment. So, uh, yeah. at, at the moment, mm-hmm. uh, Biashara is down, sana. Mm-hmm. As you can see, the economy Kuna mm-hmm. Ville too is seen to me a deteriorated. Mm-hmm. Eh, uh, in the sana. Hakuna circulation ya pesa. Hakuna mm-hmm. flow yani. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least kama kungekuwa na ka flow. Mm-hmm. Uh, watu wa biashara wangekuwa wana complain mm-hmm. because at least kukiwa na flow unakaa ukishika shika tu pesa no matter how little it is. Eh? Mm-hmm. But at least with, with a good flow mm-hmm. uh bees zita zita nini zita awaken. Mm-hmm. Sasa hii biashara ziko dormant sana. Yeah, due to the economy. So, ambia vijana pale nje ambao hawana kazi na maybe other people are very much educated but they are depending on white collar jobs. All right. So, uh, to the less unfortunate ones kwa wale tumesoma uh, well some of us uh, are better because wamepata kazi but some of us uko mta uh, employment is such a challenge so kama msia ko na talent usilalie hiyo talent bro yeah you should step up uh, as small as it is unachangamka tu na life ina flow yeah so na pia kuna wale hawajasoma but wako na talent wako na skills na pia tusichukulie hizi skills za mtaa zikiwa vitu kidogo kidogo let us uh, embrace hii sekta ya jua kali because inalipa inaleta food kwa meza za watu uh, and if you are sharp enough eh, itakupeleka to another level yeah so vijana watu wachangamke because uh, education is good but now as you can see our country uh, watu ni wengi wamesoma na employment chances ni very few so pia huku huku mtaa kuna a lot of opportunities and let us be opportunistic yeah 
Ah, very nice. Right. To chop your closing remarks, what one is a part of any chances are happy? Uh, yes. So, uh, now the online. Mm-hmm. I have a Facebook page. Uh, uh, Rustic Treasures. Na pia niko na ingine inaitwa Some Driftwood Designs. Yeah. Na pia namba yangu ya WhatsApp tapata catalog ya products. Ni ni pia na namba. Kuna 0790114233. Hiyo ndio namba yangu ya WhatsApp. Ndio ya Na everything. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thank you so much. My name is Alan from Naxfab TV. Remember to subscribe, comment and share. Peace out.